música ah, mira, mentira uh, yeah. Tengo debajo en mi cama cuatro aeropuertos Mentira Soy el tío del hijo de Shakira Mentira Where the hell is Gilfie Sigurdsson? Seriously, he's, he's like the highest rated midfielder in the Premier League on who scored and there's no Gilfie Sigurdsson. Please, EA. Please, if you're watching this, for the love of God, release a Gilfie Sigurdsson in like six hours like you released the upgraded Premier League upgrade packs. Please. Please, I need that. He's an absolute Icelandic mad lad. What's up, boys? And welcome to another incredibly, incredibly expensive uh, Premier League Team of the Season Moments SBC coming in just over 300,000 coins as of 1.41 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we got a bunch of new packs in the... Uh, we got the Premier League Team of the Season Challenge, which I believe is a 50k pack. Not bad for uh, for 15,000 coins. We got the SPL Tots Challenge as well as Marquee Matchup. So there are packs galore that you can open that don't have to do with promo packs but we're here boys to look at this 89 lucas team of the season moments torreira again 310,000 coins is what it cost and there's some guys really that we missed out on jimenez yofi sigurdsson most notably and that's it we're not going to get any more premier league uh, uh player moments or regular premier league uh player sbcs that's it tomorrow is going to be whatever it is either liga santander bundesliga or Serie A is what people are projecting uh but we don't know what that's going to be we have no idea what the minor league is going to be we thought it was going to be air Divisi, and then it ended up being being the uh, Saudi Professional League, which I'm not upset about. Oh, yeah. Omar al Sumo is another one that I would have loved to get. But uh, we are here today to look at this card. If this helps you out in any way, figure out if you want to do this card. If you don't want to do this card, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Three. He got himself an 82 foot miss card, and then he got that 82 foot miss card upgraded all the way to 86. So not only was that probably one of the biggest values for the year, but then this comes along and then kind of, I guess, makes the guys that did the 86 feel really good about doing the 82 and they got the 86 i however submitted the um i submitted the 86 into one of these spcs which was not cheap to do and managed to unlock this 89 card uh as a result of that so like i said 300,000 coins if we look at the stats it is a 124 total in-game stat upgrade over that 86 rated card and for a guy who's only at three informs this year including if we include the 82 foot miss and then that converting converting to the 86 foot miss and then now has himself an 89 rated uh team of the season moments card it's a pretty wild uh it's a pretty wild trajectory he He's one of seven players that has 2,400 total in-game stats adjoining his Arsenal midfielder teammate, Matteo Ganduza. A lot of players in there. Henrik Mkhitaryan, something we're going to talk about in this epi as well. Something that I don't think is getting enough coverage elsewhere in the world. Um... In relation to his not being able to travel to Burka or some Balka in Azerbaijan and uh, as a result of his safety not being guaranteed for the Europa League final. So very, very sad. Mickey, this one is for you. Incredible shot power, incredible distance shooting. But again, that 62 finishing, if we get him in the box, is that shot power going to negate a little bit of that 62 finishing? 84 composure, 98 stamina. One of the things that we recognize on his 86 rated card can run for days. Uh, and then also the defending stats are up there with some of the best in the game. Obviously, he's 5-1, so he's not going to be heading any goals in appropriate really gets 39 heading accuracy and then you know it's 65 jumping not bad sad class net my nuts can't even believe it we got hector bayerine in there we also have end of era peter check of course now we have to decide what chemistry style we're going to slap on him and i'm wondering if we put a chemistry style on him that that improves his finishing the most and i'm thinking is it the hunter finisher is plus five snipers plus 15 so i think we got to go you know what we're going to go with lucas Torreira, the sniper Look how small he is. Come on! Referee! Come on, bro! He's literally... Wait, no, it was Frazier. Never mind. It's me. Bro, maybe this Torreira is infused with a little bit of Viking blood, dude. Do you see that strength? Because we swapped the positions, right? Yeah, we've got him on stay back while attacking. Better for Come on, Henrik! Frazier Aubameyang, he's not going to miss that. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to say it again. I, I know that team of the season, Sonaldo Epi, was very, very emotional yesterday from a Sonaldo standpoint, but don't let it go Don't let it go unknown that Ryan Frazier's card, I think he might be expired now. Look at Frazier and Torreira. Combined, they're six feet. Wait, who was that? Was that, was that Torreira? Was that Torreira? No, that, that's Torreira. Number 11 is Torreira. Frazier's number 17, right? 
Hug it out, bro. Come on. What are you allergic to each other? Lucas Torreira and Ryan Frazier doing the cel dude. This they, they got the small man celebration. That's not politically incorrect. They're just short. I'm not saying you know that's not okay. You know what I meant? Like they're short. There will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Frazier. Yo, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. We are absolutely dominating in no small part due to this little pit bull named 89 freaking Lucas Torreira. What's his? He's got a nickname. It's not La Jolla. La Jolla is Dybala, right? Uh, Lucas Torreira nickname. He's got like a crazy nickname. Is it Guerrera? This game sucks! Come on, that would have been beautiful. Oh my god. Right, Frazier! I was going far post and he goes, uh, he goes near. Lucas Torreira is a, the little pit bull that could. A, a dramatic, dramatic win. He gets himself an assist. He doesn't get himself a goal. Obviously, that's not the uh, that's that's not his main strong suit. We're not trying. We're not looking for him to score goals, but he does provide an assist in a very, very dominant performance in match number one. Again, is it under three hundred? Is it under three hundred k? It's, okay, uh, 280,000 coins. Now it gets kind of, now it gets a little bit interesting. I'm not going to lie. If it gets down to 250,000 coins, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it gets interesting. I'm not going to give it a thumbs up. I can already tell you that maybe it's it's priced a little bit too high right now. Um, but the stats that you do get with this card are absolute mad lad. The finishing's weird, but anything from outside the box should, in theory, really go in. And you want to know what? I'm going to give you guys an extra epi. Torreira, he's a disturber. He's the enforcer. Torreira, the enforcer. Oh, Frazier! That attack positioning of dreams. Come on, Ryan Frazier, let's go, boys. Ah, Ryan, Ryan AK, Ryan Lil Torreira Frazier. They're, they're so small. I love it. They're tiny. They fit in your pocket. They're a penal! Ref? Okay. You guys know, you guys know I usually would complain about, uh, uh complain about pens. That was one of the best tackles I've seen in, P in FIFA, period. Was that long lay? Offsides. That's off. That's off! There we go. Torreira. <laughs> Ryan Frazier! Yeah, absolute lad! This game sucks! Finishing, Lucas Torreira might have something to say about that. I called it out. 98 shot power goes up to 99. If you get him in the box, I was thinking about maybe going wide, but with the 99 shot power, literally the, the, the theory that I had was because he has such incredible shot power, if you get him in the box, he's just going to blast it in the net. Like, you got to get close enough, but if you do, it's like you got the infinity stones. I thought that was it. Maybe this needs to be it. Bobby Firmino! 93 rated Bobby Firmino. That's what he's got, boys. 4-3 back-to-back wins. That one's for Mickey. I got a chance to tiro pro gol! Again, Duzan, he steps in. 5-3, the guy that Mia Khalifa parred nice. off. You never par off a of Matteo Ganduzi. You never par off a guy with incredible hair. Doesn't get himself an assist, but passes completed 20 out of 24, 19 out of 27, dribbles completed, crosses 0-0, zero, zero, but tackles won 50%. Uh, and then outside of that, it seemed like he kind of disappeared in the game, but he had a very, very eventful couple moments. Almost had a moment there where he scored us the game winner, but of course we had to rely on Firmino. And then 
it ended up being Ganduzi that wrapped the deal up. But uh, we got some packs. I believe we got some pretty good pay, uh, pretty good packs for what we had to submit. Again, the SBC now is hovering around. Uh, it is hovering around 270. Okay, so it's coming down. What tends to happen is it it go it starts off really expensive, it comes down, and then it goes up like 30 or 40k again. So it's at 275 right now. And and again, the word I'm gonna use for this one is interesting because yes, we've got options. And what is it? We got the uh, it's the rare a uh, rare Electrum players pack as well as the mega pack as well. Uh, wait, what? French strike. Griezmann! We just packed Antoine, Gri Antoine Griezmann, boys! For for the sake of our uh for the sake of our SPC, we got a nice little chunk of it back right there, boys. Griezmann is currently going for 50,000 coins. We just made 50,000 coins back from just that one pack. Get the hell in. 89, anything else in there? 89 Pavlenka, and then the rest is kind of shy threat. An 89 rated walkout. What's going to be in our Prime Gold Players Pack? Is there, is there a chance we're going to get some Madden? This will back-to-back boards. Back-to-back boards. This one is not going to be a blue, but it is going to be... Stop it! Oh, Cavani! 89 rated Cavani back-to-back. And of course, in the Torreira Epi, we had to get ourselves uh, his Uruguay teammate, uh, Shay the Whore. Let's go, dude. Hey, these packs are actually given out. And then we got one mega pack. Is there anything else hiding in there behind 89? Cavani, 82 Toprak. And then outside of that, nothing too crazy. So I don't, dude, if that's not worth a like on the video, I don't know what is, boys. 89 Cavani in the pack. So that's 100,000 coins between Griezmann. Uh, 100,000 coins between Griezmann and, um, between Griezmann and Cavani. So we literally did the SBC for probably close to about 50 to 75,000 coins. Now, on the pitch performance, I could name a handful of other players that I'd probably want as well. Uh, again, 200, near 280,000 coins to sink into an SBC. Guys, if you're Uruguayan or if you're an Arsenal supporter, I know you guys are gonna, you guys aren't gonna agree with this, but uh, for me, given the the dearth, uh, the the breadth of players, for just 60, for about 50, 60,000 coins more, you can get yourselves a team of the season 93 Fernandinho. For that reason, I'm gonna have to be out. But it is a really, really nice card. I think it's just a little bit too expensive. You get really nice pack value back. As you saw there, we got 100,000 coins back just from those two Prime Gold Players Packs, uh, the Prime Gold Players Pack, and then the Rare Gold Player Pack as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully this has given you some indication, some idea of whether or not you want to fulfill this SBC fully. Uh, going to be streaming my Division Rivals Awards over on Mixer uh, later tonight. So from the time you watch this video, probably a couple hours from then is when we're going to crack that stream on. Hopefully, like I said, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.